Hello folks, welcome to my channel Java Demystified by SSR. Now we are going to see tree set with user defined class as an example. We know tree set is an actually implementation class for set and tree set also implements sorted set and navigable set. By default, all the objects in the tree set are arranged in the ascending order. That is the natural sorting order. Now I am going to tell you the tree set implementation with the user defined class employee. So let's go to my Sublime text and see what is actually the scenario for my tree set implementation. I have a class employee which is having a name and salary as the members. I took them as private. Now what I want to do is. I want the employee objects ordered according to the name. And I want again the list of employees ordered according to the salary. By name, I want ascending order. By salary, I want descending order. So, how I'm going to achieve this with the, the tree set implementation? Let's now understand my class employee class EMPL, so I have name and salary. I have a constructor that constructs the name and salary for employee objects. So we can take as many objects as possible. Then there are getter and setter methods. If it is an ID, you can actually create all these things in a click. So I have a getter for get name and setter for name. Then I have uh, a getter for salary and a setter for salary as well. So this constructor, these getters and setters, you can actually generate in a click when you use any ID. So then what I'm doing is I'm overriding my two string method. So how it is overridden. So when I uh, try to print an employee object, it is going to print me the name and salary of this employee rather than printing the hash code value. So this is how my employee class is designed. Then now I want all these employee objects to be taken into a tree set. First time I want this employee, uh, all these employee objects arranged in ascending order by the name. And the next case, now all these employee objects I want to be arranged according to the salary in descending order. So how we are going to do? So we have, we require actually a comparator. We know comparator is having a compare method and in order to have our own order. So we actually uh, has to implement that compare method of this comparator interface. And I require a tree set. So I am taking, uh, importing this tree set as well. Yeah, let's understand. So I'm in class test and in the main method. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a tree set name compare equal to new tree set of new my name comparator. So now I'm going to take one tree set collection that is a name comparison. So that means this tree set in the, in the this uh, tree set collection object, I will have all the objects compared according to the name. So that's what the meaning actually. So now I'm taking a generic here. So tree set contains all employee objects only. So that's why tree set so in angle brackets, employee name compare uh, name comp equals to new tree set of employee, new my name comp. So this is the class I am actually uh, writing to implement the comparator interface. Right now I have created four objects, E1, E2, E3, E4, and I have uh, employees which, uh, with the name and salary. So that's how we actually written the employee class, right? Name and salary. And that's how our constructor is also getting constructed. First one is name and second one is the salary. Fine. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I have created four employee objects. Then I have added them to my tree set collection object that is name comp. So E1, E2, E3, E4 have been added to them. And I want all the names must be in ascending order, right? So that's why I'm using this my name comparator. So this is actually the class I am writing. I will show you that. And once 
uh, these objects are added. So actually I'm printing these all employees, all employees objects by names in ascending order. So for that I am taking a for each style. So for each employee E in this particular uh, tree set collection name comp system.out.println E. So when you print E, E dot two string is going to come and in two string I have this name and salary getting printed, right? Yeah, so and here I have implemented this comparator using my name comparator. So let's go to that particular class where I'm actually writing this particular uh, my name comparator. See now here class my name comparator implements comparator. Okay, so it implements comparator and comparator actually takes this particular employee objects. And I am overriding the compare method. So we know the compare method is there, which is going to return integer. So I'm taking two employee objects because every time it has to compare E1 and E2. So return E1 dot get name dot compare to of E2 dot get name. So when you compare E1 with E2, you are going to get ascending order. When you compare E2 with E1, you are going to get a descending order, right? That's it. So let's take these employees and call this get name method. So already this get name method has been defined in my class employee. So e1 dot get name and e2 dot get name. So it will be giving you so uh, return e1 dot get name dot compare to e2 dot get name. So you are going to get the ascending order. That is a natural sorting order. So that's how we are doing it. So now uh, what happens when I actually uh, write this for each loop, all my employee objects will be um, printed as per the name order. So here I have four names, Ram, John, Krish, and Tom. Alphabetically, whatever comes first will, will go to get printed. So usually it should be John, then Krish, then Ram, and then Tom actually. So let's see the output later on to understand that. Now, one more, one more case actually. What I want is all my employees should be ordered as per my salary in descending order. The highest salary person should come first. So for that, what I'm doing, I'm taking another tree set called sal comparison. So tree set EMPL sal comp equal to new tree set employee of new my salary comp. So here what I'm writing, what I'm doing, I'm writing another class, my salary comp, which actually implement this comparator uh, and overrides the compare method. And we will actually design the logic such that the highest salary one will come first, okay? So this particular preset collection, salcom, I am actually adding four objects, which already I'm having yeah. the same four objects I'm actually adding to this. And then I'm actually printing them using for loop. So for each employee in salcom, system.out.println E. So here I'm implementing my salary comp, right? So let's go to that particular class, class my salary comp implements comparator. So here I have to arrange these employee objects based on the employee objects which are there in the tree collection based on get salary, right? So I have a get salary method defined here. So this get salary is to get the salary. So every time what I'm doing is I will compare two objects each time, right? So I am going to get that salary of employee uh, E1 and E2. So now what I'm doing, I want a descending order. So what I'm doing, I'm comparing E2 dot get salary greater than E1 dot get salary. If E2 salary is greater than E1 dot get salary. So when you compare like this, you are going to get a descending order. Okay, if you want ascending order, E1 dot get salary greater than E2 dot get salary. That's how you need to do. So here I want descending order. So E2 dot get salary greater than E1 dot get salary return one, otherwise I'm saying, return minus one. So since I want descending order, so this is the logic I have to employ. Fine, so now what are all the objects I am putting into my uh, sal comp collection, sal comp tree collection, they are by default get arranged according to the descending order because this tree set are actually now the instances of my salary comp. Fine, so that's, the class. So we require actually four classes. One is my class test where I have my main method, 
right so there i am creating my employee objects and adding them to corresponding tree set collections i have namely two collections one is name comp which contains employee objects and i want to arrange them in ascending order then i have uh, sal comp and that contains again employee objects uh, wherein i have to arrange them based on uh, salaries in descending order then uh, i have two classes which are implementing the comparator one is as per the name order and second one is actually as per the salary order right that's why my name comp and my salary comp and finally i have a i should have a class employee so this is a simple uh, employee class with name and salary with the getters and setters and one thing i am doing is i am actually overriding the two string method so you can actually say at ray at override annotation over here we are overriding this two string method to print name and salary whenever uh, uh, in, whenever somebody tries to print the reference of the employee so let me save this and let me compile so my main method is there in the class test right so java c is to java compile successfully there is no issue and when i run all my employee objects must be ordered by name case one and employee objects must be ordered by salary in descending order names in ascending and salaries in descending let's see now yeah so employees names in ascending order let me actually go to uh, my employee objects here yeah and then i open my output to compare you can actually see so when employee objects are added it is ram john krish tom right and now actually i am making everything of uh, those employee objects as per the name so j comes first then k r and tom so names are arranged in ascending order uh, because i have implemented my get name uh, method to compare this and second i have uh, salaries in descending order so highest salary is john right so john is coming first and the next highest is ram that is 3000 then next highest is uh, tom tom coming for, coming and then finally uh, least salary is krish and krish is coming later all right so this is how you can actually um, implement real use cases uh, with the tree set the tree map etc so so far you may be reading and understanding from the books where you will create uh, a normal objects with integer objects or string objects to understand the concepts but actually if at all you have to do on uh, real time applications you require user defined objects right so here uh, since my employee class is uh, employee class is there and i want to create objects with the name salary and you can actually have many more also right you have to write your order so by default by default you know uh, tree set will give you natural ascending order but uh, those the objects that you are putting in the tree set are some user defined class objects right that's why you have to write your own logic so they will not be in direct direct ascending order because that's not a single object right like uh, integer 10 or string some abc xyz so it is actually an user defined class object which having some properties like name salary id etc so that's why whenever you want to have order you need to implement the comparator interface so that is important so the comparator plays an important role in collection framework because when you work with user defined objects you need to have uh, different different requirements based on the uh, properties which are, which you define in your class so hope you understood uh, this tree set implementation with user defined class that is employee and if you understood so please uh, like my video share to your friends and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my uh, channel as well thank you thanks for your time